hello guys and welcome to today's video i hope you guys are doing great by the way guys today we are going straight to benin and anytime at all you hear benin the first that comes into your head is spirituality in africa it is one of i mean the country that deals with spirituality a lot and today i saw this video and i said no i have to share with you guys so that at least we can learn something from other people's I mean, culture and tradition. It's not every time that we learn about only our tradition or learn about our culture, but we can sometimes venture into some people's I mean, area to see how they go about their things. So this one is about the snake uh, uh, aspects. Like this tradition, they worship the snake and they do a lot of things with the snake. So guys, let's enjoy this video together and see how these people go about this particular tradition and the way and how it's also i mean bringing uh, 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 making the place serve as a tourist attraction especially for strangers so guys without wasting much time let's go straight into the video so you have python worshippers yes of course over here in benin of course and they have the 10 the marks five you can even see them five among the people here, you will see them plenty. Amongst the people yes, here, of people course. worship the python. Of course, there are plenty here. You just pay attention so that you can see. So is it a form of religion of a sort? That is the very first uh, religion. We call it Vodun spirituality. Vodun spirituality. Yeah, it's not Over even here. a religion. It's Vodun spirituality. Vodun spirituality. Yeah. All right, so here we are in a sacred place that exists since the 13th centuries. So here we are in a sacred place, as I told you, then all the ceremonies, Vodun ceremonies, used to start from this tree that we call Iroko tree. Okay. It has more than 400 years. This tree. Four centuries. So the python that we mean, the python that we are talking about here is called royal python. Royal python. Yes, just because in the classifications of the pythons, the very first one in the list is called royal python. And our forefathers adopted this python like their deity just because the python used to protect their crops against rats, rodents and insects. Wow. So here we get two species of the python. We get the male, which is called Dangbekpo. This is the spelling, the name. Dangbekpo. Dangbekpo is the male, right. and that one is short. Po means what is short. Then we get also the female, which is Dangbe Dre. Dre means, is mean what is long. Long. So Dangbe the female dre. is longer than the, the male. male. So here, all the ceremonies used to start, used to start from that Iroko. From tree. this Iroko tree. Yes. Okay. So to recognize, the worshippers of the spirit of python we just need to look at their faces so that we can see some scars on the faces like two at the forefront two two at the outside of the face so all the scars on the, on the face is ten it means five scars at one side then five other scars at the other side so thank you for the first step Let us look at this, this place, this room. Mm -hmm. Here, this room is the most important room of the temple. Wow. Just because here is the sanctuary. Today it is closed just because today is not a market day. That's why it is closed. So there are some laws, please. There are some laws to follow, some prohibition to respect before going in, such as no shoes, to go inside, look up on the head to go inside. Women in the menstruation period should not also step in. So we are human beings. So in case by mistake anyone offends any kind of one of those laws, the person should be purified. So the purification service used to take place in this compartment, as you can see it from here. This is the compartment where People should be purified. The side. Yes, you will, you will just notice that the door is so short. It's a small door. So before it gets in. But does the, it ever get open? Sorry? Does yes, it open? all the time that people need to be purified, 
they just you go, go in. inside. Then before going in, the person should kneel down before you enter. Because you see that it's so short. So what problems in. will need this purification? What yeah, issues? that's what I just said that right. in case anyone offend one of those rules, okay. the rules are that uh, any worshipper mm -hmm. that see a dyed python mm -hmm. cannot anymore go in the sanctuary. Okay. So any uh, women that is in period and cannot, mistakenly cannot also enter. Yeah, mistakenly just gets in mm -hmm. means that that's a trouble. Cannot, uh, that's a trouble. So you have python worshippers. Yes, of course. Over here in Benin. Of course. And they have the 10 the, marks. You five can pairs, even see them five, uh, among the people here. You will see them plenty. Amongst the people yes, here? Yes, of people course. People worship the python. Of course. There are plenty here. You just pay attention so that you can see. So is it a form of religion of a sort? That is the very first uh, religion. We call it Vodun spirituality. Vodun spirituality. Yeah, it's not Over even here. a religion. It's Vodun spirituality. Vodun spirituality. Yeah. And can anybody at all join that uh, uh, fraternity? Uh, let me really say no, just because mm. the people who can be member or who can be part of it, uh, of it, yeah. are really known. Okay. There are some names. Okay. Then those names you can just see them outside okay. on the wall. On the wall. Yes. Not those, just anyone can be part no, of it. No, it's them and all of those family under them. Yes. Okay. Under them. So it's like a royal thing. Of you course. can't just be part of, of course. it. Of course. Of course. So now that it is closed, we yeah. can't see what is in it. No, right? you cannot go, you cannot see what is inside. But is a snake like in there? tomorrow, you can maybe come, then you will see inside. No, inside is the spirit of the snake. It's the spirit of the snake. Yeah, it's not the snake. The snake is here in the living room. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank All right. you. So, Let's proceed. Okay, so this compartment is for protection, mm -hmm. spiritual protection of the temple and all the town of Wida. Right. When I mean all the town of Wida, mm. I would just simply like to say that here is the main temple of Vodun of Wida. Main That's why the, I mean, the spiritual protection of all the town is controlled from here. Oh. So it's only the priest who, have, who has access to go in. To go in, in. there. Then this one gets two doors. Here is the entrance. Then the and then there's an exit. Behind it. OK. So from here, let me just tell you that here is the Python living room. That is the Python living, living room. room. Inside, we have kept about 50 pythons. 50? Yes. So all alive? Of all alive. So once a month, we open the door, then all the pythons go out. To where? They go to people's houses, they go to the forest in order to feed themselves. Because we don't feed them here. And do they come back? Yes, some can come back in the morning. And the remaining one, when in the morning people see them, or at any time that they see them in the town, they can just take them and bring, and them, bring back. them back. Because they know that it is the divinity, it's sacred, no one kills them here. But you release about how many of them? 50. About 50 right pythons now, into the community. Yes. And people course. don't run helter skelter. Right now, when you go in, you can just see about 30 because it still remains. 20, 20 outside. outside. Then people are still bringing them one, uh, one, the, by, one, one. by one. And will one all of one. them be brought? All will be brought. If you kill any Even of them. Even if someone see them and just hide them, one day when any worshiper will just see, he will just take it and bring it and back. They'll just bring because it, back. it is the divinity. It is for them. Yes. So do people kill them? No. By mistake. Yeah. Because you know, if uh, they, they get stepped by mm -hmm. motorbike or yeah. cars, so there is a ritual here, a ceremony to perform in order to bury them. Do they have special marks for you to know that this one is coming from the no, uh, Vodou okay, temple? No, no, no. There is not any mark, but uh, it's to recognize the, I mean, uh, the royal python. Mm -hmm. We just uh, care about the length. The length. Yes. And then you know it's coming the from length. there. It's, it come from here. I've never heard this. Interesting. You heard it on Vibes in Five. So, they released 50 pythons into the community yeah. to go and feed and visit people. Okay. So um, so we can just move. We can go inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But before touching the python, yeah. you should wash your hands okay. and get purified. But what if we, we won't touch it at all? Uh, you, you don't want to touch it? No, no, no. no. Uh, but, you oh, but we have to wash, wash our hands yeah, here. Okay. So guys, let's wash our hands. Where do we wash our hands? You wait. Then I bring the okay. sacred water. Interesting. We're about to get inside and 50 pythons in a community. Can you imagine you're walking in town and you see snakes? The way we feel about snakes and when we see them, it's amazing. So we're washing our hands because we're getting yeah. into the temple. Just a bit. So this is a ritual that has to be performed before we get inside to see the pythons. Eddie is definitely going to carry one. Right. 
So you just wait for me. So, so we're waiting for him still. We're here at the temple of the Python, of um, Temple de Python. That's how they call it in French, Temple de Python. Here in Beni Wida, a very, very spiritual place. And according to what we've been told so far, these two buildings or these two hearts are very significant to the worshippers of the python. You so, dare not play with it. Or hey, this is a female. Maybe you can just. This is a female. See how the skin is? In Swoba. Yeah. Yeah, it's very smooth. Yes, of course. And I'm sure that when you just put it. Can I put it neck, around my neck? Yes, so that you see that it's, it feel like comf more comfortable. No, no, don't touch it. I will just try to. Uh huh. Just it won't. It, it won't bite me. No, 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 at all. Bite. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. moving on my body, man. All right. Yeah. Like so snack. yeah. Finally, I got a snake around my neck. And this is the female python. I've done nothing wrong, so I know it's definitely not going to harm me. But you could see it in your house yes. if you live in Benin and yeah. with that. Fortunately. You know. Fortunately. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm brave. Who else? Who would like to try? No? You good? Okay? You good? So Are you okay? Going? All right. Yes, so now yeah. we just take off our shoes. You we'll keep take, your socks, then we we'll go in. We we'll take off our shoes. No, so. you just take it this here. We we'll live in here. here. Yeah, we'll okay. live it here. <laughs> and I'm with you. So we we'll leave them here. So you just go. You can snap pictures and videos. So these are the snakes, the, uh, the tour guide that was talking about. They said there are 50 of them, but then some have, some have gone out and it's not yet in. So definitely these ones will not be up to 50. But then, touching of snakes, I'm seeing it to be a bit very creepy. No matter the man, amount of money you give me, it's very creepy touching snakes. Naturally, a lot of people fear snakes because snakes are a bit dangerous. So I don't think, I mean, people will want to put it around their neck the person people may be feeling feeling afraid to touch it not to talk of putting it around their neck so guys this is basically what it is the snake spirituality of benin i hope you guys are enjoying it so i'll be able to know some cultures of benin so basically that is what we are watching Yeah, here we have a, a craft market. Okay. Here we have a craft market. You can have a look. This is a craft visit market. And buy some souvenirs. Ooh. Then the exit is just here. Oh, and then yeah. the exit. Yeah, it's here. You can have a look. So this is the farm. This is the craft market. You can see the ladies. So. Mm -hmm. To have more information about the soul music. Right. de Python, in French, Temple de Python, the Python Temple, or Temple of the Python, the Snake Temple. Scary place, but you need to see it. We're tired. It is what it is. <laughs> So guys, as I always say, if you enjoyed the video, kindly hit the like button 
and then subscribe for more videos like this and then i will see you in my next video peace out